Hello friends, today I will show you how to install Eclipse software uh, in Industrian Operating System. An Eclipse IDE used for uh, developing Java applications or Java related applications. And also in testing we can use it for automation development purpose. And uh, let's get started. And please watch my video till end so that I will share you some of tip, tips and tricks related to Eclipse IDE. And open any browser. In my case, I am opening a Chrome browser. Search for Eclipse. And Eclipse provided by uh, official website is eclipse.org. Click on download link. And here in the home page, I mean the download home page, I mean we have a Eclipse ID latest version which is a 2020.03 and which is 64 bit download link and we can download 32 bit as well based on our system configurations so currently my system is 64 bit configured so uh, to get a 32 bit uh, version as well you can click on this uh, download packages i'm clicking on download 64 bit and it will route us to a uh, user agreement page where we have a different uh, links to download select another mirror so currently it is default to korean republic and we can click on select another mirror and we can choose any different uh, link here and click on show all link this show all link will display all regions related links uh, in my case i am using united state columbia university and the download starts begin now and uh, i already installed this eclipse ide uh, kept on my desktop uh, this is the latest uh, version which I downloaded from uh, the same website double click on this uh, exe file and it will launch the installer and here in this installer we can uh, choose the different flavors so in my case i'm using a eclipse ide for java developers and it will ask us to provide a java uh, java location and also installation folder so i'm using a jvm 8 1.8 and we can choose another version also 7 based on our requirement and uh, to know how to install this java please watch watch my previous video and i will uh, share the link in the description and I provided how to set up environment variables and uh, installation folder uh, let me point it to my desktop and click on install button and this will take some time and we can cancel at any point of time this installation to change uh, uh, Java or installation folders and now it's been done successfully installed and click launch button or go to a desktop and click on shortcut key which we have created and click, click clicking on this launch button now it says eclipse ide 2020 03 so it's opening the eclipse ide and it will ask us to workplace so whatever we work on this uh, eclipse or whatever projects we do that requires some location so it, it uh, uh, saves their metadata files and the java files or development files in that location so in my case uh, let me point it to again desktop and uh, we can use this as a default version or also we can change anytime and I will show you this how to change an Eclipse IDE uh, if, if at all if you are not checking this default and as soon as we click launch button it created a metadata file it's, it's in my desktop now So one location uh, is one workspace is used for one purpose we cannot use uh, multiple uh, workspaces in the same location that may created uh, some confusion to how the the folder structure and this is the eclipse ide 
and how it has some useful links and go through each link and see and for now I am skipping this uh, skipping this and going to workspace and this is a package explorer and this section is completely when we create any new projects that will be stored uh, that will be displayed here and this will be our actual editor and below section is the description section which has like console logs or any outputs we can see here and let me create a one java file or java project click on file click on new click on java project so provide any unique name for the java project so in my case i'm giving a demo one and you can change the java version from here too so you can change if we have any other java versions we can change from here currently i am keeping the java 1.8 now so new project has been created in the explorer folder and it has uh, two different the system libraries so default libraries will be created here the system related libraries and this is a source file which has nothing in it so we will create a package click on and double click on the source and click on new and then click on the package I'm giving a Eclipse demo as a package name and once this package has been created we need to create a class files so class files has been used to code our actual code and here the java class file so we can provide a uh, different names also and uh, in, uh, in my case i'm giving a demo java and we can use some default uh, default settings also to create this one so we have uh, different methods to uh, launch it so in my case i'm using a public static void main so we can write it from there also but we can for quick uh, setup we can use a checkbox for public static void main and here some of the super classes are java dot line dot object we can browse this one also and we can use the modifiers from here the public packages abstract final and this is a package name which we have uh, created the eclipse demo and our folder i mean project folder is demo one demo one under source under source we have a package called eclipse demo under package we have a name called demo java project so java click on finish and that will create a demo java or java file and it comes with the default public static void main so which we have selected during creation of the java file and here we can write uh, our code our code conditions and everything and let me for quick uh, to show how it will work I will i will share you one system out output And here uh, in this Eclipse ID, even though if we type any mistakes, also that will provide us the corrections as well. Just mouse over on the uh, error method, it says some syntax system error, so it requires some equivalent missing. So, this type of uh, instructions are available uh, for us. And to print a system dot out dot print the system as soon as we print. As soon as we click on dot, it provides some default options. So for output, we need so we need to select out so public static final. It says print stream out, and we need print ln. Create a new line. So print ln void method. So under void method, it it has nothing. So let me add something here. I created uh, some text here Eclipse demo and the same will be uh, printing in our console and there are multiple ways to execute this uh, Java file one from direct from editor just right right click 
I'll go to run as I'll click on Java Java application it will run from here also we can go from the run run Java so run demo Java file from here also we can run and from the project package explorer click on Java the demo Java file and double click on it and we can get the run Java as so click on Java application so we haven't saved this application we haven't saved this uh, code piece of code so click on it will ask us to save and launch click on ok it says eclipse demo so it means our successfully we have installed eclipse IDE and executed the code and we have different uh, options as well so under edit edit we have a different options like to delete copy select all find next find replace and we have some source we can toggle comments or we can remove any block of comments we can shift right left code refactor if you want to change any java file name or project file name you can refactor from here the navigation we can call any uh, you can use different purpose well, based on our need and i will explain you in detail in my upcoming videos and from search we can search the different files from here this is a project related uh, file from here we can run uh, our application as well so I'll go to run as and click on java application and here from windows we can see the preferences and the navigations help section we can download the latest uh, uh, software updates from for eclipse and e thanks for watching